Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. I have just got an email that I've been waiting for for a while, and I'm going to read it to you because I wrote a email, and I'm going to leave the well. Maybe I'll put. Uh, I may put the name of the company in here because I think it's pretty awesome that they did this. Basically what happened was I started getting uh, on YouTube claims of um, matched third party content. So I wrote a, an email directly to the company that uh, apparently through YouTube claimed copyright match which is basically what match third party content is is basically saying that you're using the copyrighted material I guess anyway so here's my letter um, I go hello I'll, I'll use their name I don't think they'll mind because I think it's awesome that they responded and they checked it out and everything's awesome they the, APM music Okay, so I went, hello APM Music. And the subject of the letter is my recent claim on my YouTube video. Basically, I emailed them. I posted a video on YouTube on the 29th of May, 2011, and then on November 25th, 2011, I received a notice via email from YouTube of matched third-party content, which named APM Music as the copyright owner of the sound of my video. The sound of my video, besides my own voice and ambient environmental sound, is a clip from iMovie, uh, the application that I use to credit, sorry, that I use to create and edit the video for the purpose of posting it on YouTube. The track I used is called Acoustic Sunrise, and it is authored by Apple Incorporated, according to my iMovie program. I simply loop the track repeatedly while editing it, editing into, editing it into the video clip. I'm, I'm granted use of the sound clip and video editing software through my end user agreement with Apple Incorporated for making personal videos that I can do with what I want, I guess, as long as I don't make money with them or whatever. So the latest info I have, this is my letter continuing, the latest info I have after checking on YouTube tonight, it says that APM Music has reviewed the video content and maintained their claim. So I'll stop reading the letter for a second. So I thought for sure that APM Music was claiming that I had matched the third party content. Excuse me. So I was sort of confused because I went to their site and here's what I, I, I wrote. And I'm putting this up here because I know a lot of guys get, um, and girls, they get claims against like third party match content. And I think all you have to do is get a hold of the people involved give them your video URL, ask them to explain their claim like I did, and I mean, if you're, I'm not intentionally trying to do anything. Anyway, here's the rest of my letter. All I'm asking here is that you explain your claim to me, as I do not see any mention of your ownership representation of Apple Incorporated on your website. I'm unable to search the track on your website, and I think that's key is, if it's a music site, make sure you search the title of the track that you used. And if you can't find it there, well then how can they claim it? Back to the letter. Uh, if in fact you do own the rights to the sound of my video, please inform me how you do, as I have no intention of infringing on anyone's copyright. I have made no revenue from the video and probably will not in the future. I, if you do own the rights to the sound of my video, I'm prepared to remove the copyrighted material upon notification. And I put a note in here, when I read your, your supporting email message, not when you send it, but when I read it, and I usually check my email once a day. That's sort of important because if they send you an email and you're away on vacation and they give you seven days to respond and you're away for two weeks, well, guess what? Anyway, so if you do not own the rights, I simply ask that you remove your claim with YouTube. I do not intend any further action. I just want to clear this up as I'm getting limited information from YouTube on this and no communication from APM Music. And I put in here what happened. As a matter of fact, YouTube autom YouTube's automated dispute process did not allow me to correctly identify why I felt the claim was incorrect. It changed what I typed into the text box. 
and totally changed the literal, literal meaning of my dispute claim. Uh, the only reason I'm writing this email is that YouTube has made several claims on my videos in the past. Not YouTube, but you know, you get that notice from them, right? Uh, has made several claims on my videos in the past and videos of other YouTubers, all involving third-party match content claims from music companies that usually end up not owning the copyright. This has been explained to me as happening because of automated programs that crawl the site, YouTube, looking for matched content without a human being actually checking the videos. All my videos use the sound clips found in my iMovie software, my voice, and ambient sound. If APM Music has not actually made this claim on my video, I would like to be informed as well, just for my own peace of mind, because I'd like to know if somebody's falsifying these claims. As stated above, I would never intentionally use copyrighted material. Here's the video link info so you may review my video, so you may review it. Looks like uh, you will have to copy and paste it to your browser because it didn't it didn't turn into a link when I sent it on the email. And uh, thanking you for your attention to this matter and my name. So then I went up um, to, I got my email today and it says, hi Carl, uh, we have released, sorry, that's my first name, Carl. <laughs> Now we have released the claims since they were prompted by an error in YouTube's recognition system. We are sorry for the confusion and delay, plus we appreciate that you identified this error as well as brought it to our attention. And best, the guy's name is Mark, Mark Brinker, Client Services Representative with APM Music. That's awesome APM, that's all I asked for, that's all I want. I don't want to use, and this is really important, I really don't want to use anybody else's material and make money from it without giving them credit, paying them royalties, whatever I need to do. I'm not out to make money by being dishonest. If I make any money from YouTube videos, which I haven't, I haven't made, like I haven't been sent a check. If YouTube is sending out checks, I haven't been getting them. <laughs> anyway, so if they're sending out checks, there's another thing, but anyway. I don't think I've, I've met the, thre the threshold to get any money from them. But anyway, so I think this is great that APM Music took the time. I mean, they're busy. busy. Bu this is a busy music company, right? Here comes little old YouTuber and says, Hey, man, I don't want to infringe on your, on your copyright. Like, what's going on? And then they look into it. They find out that there's an error in YouTube's recognition system. That's awesome. So I think it's great. Uh, thank you, Mark Brinker, Client Services Representative at APM Music. I think that's awesome, man. I really appreciate this because, you know, it sort of makes me feel better. It makes me feel like, okay, it's nice because YouTube, um, I love it. It's great. It's awesome. Um, as I said, when I tried to put my claim dispute in, which I would encourage anybody to do, if you make a video and you use your own music and your own instruments and your own programs and everything else like that and you turn around with a third party matched content um, how do they word it matched third party content so matched matched third party content so if you get those kind of claims all the time like please dispute it because um, when I tried to dispute it as I was said in my letter to this this fellow here um, it changed my wording and it made what was said to this company or to YouTube, it made it not what I was trying to say. Now, I tried to put it in several times and it just kept changing it to this stock answer. Now, the problem with that is um, I believe, you know, that freedom of speech, right? Um, and part of freedom of speech is being able to say what you intend to say, right? And the other part of freedom of speech is, and, and democracy in general, and other rights that we have in both Canada and the U.S. and everywhere else in the free democratic societies of the world is, you're also generally given uh, the chance to, if you do say something and it's taken the wrong way or, or somebody changes it or whatever and then you get blamed for whatever it's changed to or whatever you have the right to uh, tell your side defend yourself whatever so when I was filling this out with on the YouTube dispute form I just found it was rather um, like, like 
it did not um, I'm trying to look for the right words it did not uh, increase my trust in the dispute process how's that it did not it did not encourage any hope that the dispute process was actually geared to solving these issues so it's interesting because this is my, this is a result of my email to the actual music website so this isn't even really YouTube's answer to me on matched third-party content this is me going to the trouble of get, finding out who made the claim checking out their website searching it to see if there's anything on there remotely close to what I have in my video by searching the the clip title right and also by just sending a, an email I mean so you know it's all good I think it's all good um, I'm probably gonna put this up on cut because you know what the heck one cut <laughs> one cut I mean, th there was a challenge on YouTube for people to do no editing just just put it out there right so anyway here's my my contribution to that and that's also uh, day number three of 365 blogs for YouTube for the year for me. So, anyway, I'm really happy. I'm just, I'm just, man. Uh, APM Music, Mark Brinker, Client Ser Services Representative. Thank you so much. That's that's all anybody asks for is to to have uh, good open dialogue, and, and you know that's great. And I mean. I, 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 I'm, I'm gaining some trust in the system of YouTube and of, of conflict resolution, I guess, and of, uh, because I don't, I really, honestly, I do not want to use any copyrighted material that's used by anybody else. Being a guy who's making videos, I wouldn't want anybody to take my video and make money with it, unless... If they do, I would like a portion of that. Not all of it. If you know, I mean, if it's their distribution that gets me more, more, more financial gain for a video I make, then that's awesome. I mean, they they obviously their efforts are worth something. So I would definitely, you know, but I I, w I would definitely need compensation for my creative, artistical creation, right? So, anyway, that's enough rambling. YouTube, love ya. YouTubers, have a great night. I'm, I'm just so happy that I opened my email and found this. This is just right on. <laughs> okay, so, good night, everybody. Have a good day. Welcome to 2012, day number three. It's awesome.